Two unused McDonald's flat sheets found at Value Village today. Wait, flat sheets? Oh, I don't know why I... Fitted versus flat sheets. I'm an idiot. Completely don't know why. I forgot about that term <laughs> entirely. I was expecting something from the restaurant. Did they sell these at the... I don't even... You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Found both of these unopened for under $15 each. Okay, well, that's pretty freaking sick, though. Especially for Lego architecture. Like, that's just really neat. Oh, wait, Las Vegas? That's not as cool. A $10 iMac. Okay. Remember, though, to test it, uh, how much you want to bet you got that home and it didn't even turn on? Because uh, that happens a lot with me. I mean, specifically, or more specifically, at Goodwill, that's generally when that happens to me. Which is super freaking cool, you know? But... <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is so... It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, man. I'm sorry. There's no way, right? Area Rescue Ministry Thrift Store Find. $11. All right, let's see what you got. <gasps> it's one of the tackiest lamps in existence, and I love every millimeter of this thing. This absolutely miserable-looking thing I found the other day. Oh, well, I'm glad you brought it home, and now it's gonna be more comfortable while looking... Miserable and a little sad? I feel kind of bad. I think it's fair to say that I don't need to buy any more coffee mugs at thrift stores. <clears throat> Let's see about that. Yeah, I think you're good. I think you're just fine now. My favorite find to date. It doesn't even matter what they are. I don't care. Yep, you did a great job. I have no idea what this is, but my inner Indiana Jones said that I needed to make it mine. Six bucks from Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. You you picked the right decision. You chose correct. Or rather, you chose wisely. Been for sale for over a year for about 15k at a second hand store. They're begging to unload it now. They say it was 30k originally. No way. There's no way they looked at that thing and genuinely thought they were going to get that much money for it. It's so despicably ugly and it doesn't even feel like it would be comfortable or practical in any way. I mean, look at it. I've been searching for an old Lisa Frank binder at the thrift store for years. Today, my dreams came true for the low price of $2.50. Wait, what? A what? An old Lisa Frank binder. Oh, huh. I always wondered about a name behind this art. A Goodwill gem, only $6. That truly is a Goodwill gem. So why can't I ever find anything like this at my local shops? $5 vans. They look unworn. They really do look unworn. I don't think they ever were. Also, 5 bucks. What thrift stores are you shopping at? At my local Goodwill, these are 40 I'm not kidding. Bought this interlocking oval mirror for $20 off of Marketplace. I mean, you and I have got definitely uh, very different tastes. I don't know what that is. Heart Dutch oven for 10 euros? Oh, it's one of these. You lucky ducks. Man, I can tell that I'm just going to be super jealous again. Sorry, envious, not jealous. Envious is the correct term. Just scored my biggest score yet. All up, brand new. These would total $584. I paid 50. Oh, not what I was expecting. I was honestly expecting more cookware. But the fact that it's art supplies, I mean, that's even cooler, honestly. For $30, I wasn't going to pass this up. Oh, absolutely not. For 30 bucks, you don't pass up one of the last brands that actually makes kitchen appliances with real materials and, you know, that actually last. $2 and it's patterned front and back. Donatello, oh man, I would love to wear this to the new movie that's coming out soon. By the time this video comes out, it will have released, but, you know, I record like one to two weeks before you hear it. Pearsall? Pearsall? Haul of a lifetime yesterday. $200 for all three on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, those are so cool. I would buy those. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I hate bouncing around when it comes to aesthetics. I'm still a big 90s guy, but I adore a 60s, 70s, like, Adam Punk house, you know? And this gives me that vibe. Educationally transparent phone. An educationally transparent phone? As opposed to what? Adriana Papel? Or Papel? I don't know. Dress I picked up from Goodwill today for seven bucks. Fits like a glove. Not sure who that is, but the dress looks lovely. I found a pizza blanket today for four dollars. Are you sure that's not just a giant pizza? Be honest. Been watching this five-foot mirrored disco ball deer for a week on Facebook Marketplace. 
Should I do it? Uh, if you've got the room and you don't mind having something that large and goofy looking in your house, go for it. But don't be that person that annoys the people you live with for it, you know? Found this vintage 1999 Charizard plush at Goodwill. Scroll to see him post spa day. Oh, look at him. He's all flat and everything. And oh, he's getting better. Oh, there we go. That's actually awesome. Just beautiful. A top 20 find. Late 1950s to mid 1970s, hard to narrow down further. 10K gold Ray Bans in their original case with original cloth. Lenses are mint and frames just need a polish. I suspect they were packed away for decades. $5 at a garage sale. Well, that's really cool. Oh, I do see some people selling their Ray Bans or older Ray Bans on Facebook Marketplace every now and then, but. Never seen ones this cool before, or this original, or this old. Found three vintage poster prints for $25 today and got them up with a quickness. Like I said, man, I'm loving this aesthetic. Uh, I'm loving it. Found three Aubrey Beardsley prints. Again, I'm not sure who that is, but they look really cool. Found this vintage rain lamp yesterday for $20. A vintage rain lamp? A what? Oh crap, I don't want to start looking into stuff. I already buy too much crap. My husband called this a granny lamp. Your husband's right, but that doesn't make it any less cool. Think about it. Refurbished a $10 nightstand. Okay, looking a little beat up and wow, good God, you're really good at this. Uh, it's missing two wooden points, but for $4, I'll figure out how to make repairs. I mean, yeah, that's gotta be easy enough, right? For four bucks? Flea market find. A lady was selling her mother's jewelry. She was asking a dollar each because it's all fake and mom could never afford real stuff. 14 karat gold ring with white stones. I ended up telling her what it is and what it's worth and gave her $100 for it. Melt value of the gold is 150. Well, I'm really, really glad that you did actually tell her because I would have been super pissed off if you took advantage of somebody in that fashion. But I'm glad you did the right thing. $2 each at Goodwill. Fresh from the cart. Oh, oh, that's awesome and so well done. Oh, man, what in the... Huh? Man, my Goodwill genuinely sucks. She's not listening. How to talk to your cat about gun safety. Maybe she just doesn't care. Estate sale find. David Chris... Chris? Martini lamp. Okay, I love that lamp and I hate that you found it. Why isn't it mine instead? The person pricing at the Salvation Army in Charlottesville, Virginia has a sense of humor. Oh, I actually saw this image recently. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That's fun. Did you buy it? Got my dream baritone sax at Value Village for 450 bucks. Now that's got to be one of the rarer things to find at any thrift store. Is an instrument that's not missing everything that makes it able to play. Like every time I find a guitar at a local shop, it has no strings, it's missing all of the tuners, and someone beat the uh. shit out of it. Gorgeous desert scene mirror. Oh my god, yeah, that's really cool. I'm not the type of person to hang up mirrors because I despise myself, but that's really neat. Just scored this breakfast clock. That's a clock? I mean, what the hell? Not that it's really realistic looking, but it's so fun. A barn find this weekend. Lady said, oh, you like MCM stuff? Why don't you shop in my barn? Came out with this for $10. Holy crap. See, that's the type of thing I'm looking into for other tattoos is that old, starry, bloomy, I'm not sure how to, is it retro punk? Retro future, retro future. I think that's what I'm talking about here, maybe. But those little stars every, everywhere. I wanna get some tattoos based off of that really bad next. I don't know how or why, but she just hopped in my cart and left the thrift store with me. 25 inches tall, weighing 10 pounds. I don't know how it jumped into your cart either, but I'm glad it didn't break. Shirt from Goodwill. Baltimore, Maryland. There's more than murder here. Not the shirt I would have expected to see when I changed images. I'm literally uh. This 8 by 13 foot three piece original painting I got for $90. Where the hell are you going to put that? I mean, it's sick as hell though, don't get me wrong, but oh my god. My boyfriend was thrift shopping and said he's buying it for me since he knew I loved boots, especially if it's from Dr. Martens. Gratefully, it's my size. 
Dude, Doc Martens are hardcore to find in the wild, dude. They really keep their value. Don't they have lifetime guarantees and stuff, too? Just thrifted the perfect fit for an early showing of Barbie this Monday. Black tulle slip, pink dress, and rhinestone bow heels for $20 total. I actually had a whole Ken outfit. I had two Ken outfits ready to go, and I still haven't seen the damn movie. But I'm glad you found the perfect outfit. I love him so much. Oh, <gasps> my grandmother's obsessed with turtles and tortoises. She would kill for this thing. Oh, it's so cool. Found this for my one-year-old son at Goodwill for 16 bucks. I looked it up when I got home and discovered that they sell for over $300. Those things? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I heard about how much they're worth recently. I don't know why. It's probably just because they're not made anymore, I would imagine. These are like the ultimate fidget toys. They really are. As a grown-ass adult, I would probably find myself playing with this thing for days. Found this brand new sparkly pink Kate Spade purse for $25. Just in the time for the Barbie movie tonight. And everyone's finding the perfect Barbie outfits. I'm glad the movie's good. Okay, we've got spooky, scary, werewolf bar mitzvah. That's, again, not the shirt I would have expected. Only a spoonful, and forkful, and whiskful. Holy sh now that is a spoon. Where would you buy something like that? Not at the thrift store. Where do you go to find giant cutlery? Really, I wanna know. I mean, look at this. We got a giant fork and whisk as well. Where do you go to get stuff like this? It's amazing. Plant stand, Goodwill, $7. If I could find one of these, I would get some plants. If I could actually find a real plant stand, I would be getting some plants, dude, no joke. Hot pink Jesus statue, and he's a magic eight ball. He is? Really? Prove it, what the hell? Why wouldn't you show us? I, whatever. Got this at the thrift store. I'm not entirely sure what it's for. Maybe a book holder? Yeah, but it's cute. Maybe. Actually, a book holder makes some sense, right? I don't like it personally, but yeah. Oh, a napkin holder. A very nice napkin holder. Catch and release. Did adult men in the 90s really wear stuff like this unironically? Excuse me? What? what co what's that attitude about? What's wrong with the coat? Answer my question. I know you're not here and I'll never know who you are, but seriously, what's what's wrong with this coat? Is that what you're implying? I'm gonna get mad. A successful day garage sailing. Ho oh, ho ho, you were not kidding. I am, I, I adore this aesthetic. I want this aesthetic in my house, but I'll continue to try and dress more along 90s, 80s, dumbassery. When you're sliding into first and you feel a sudden burst? Oh, 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 what the hell? When your Aunt Susan asks why you borrowed her dish for two weeks? Hell yeah, I respect it. As someone that's got the 90s jazz solo cup tattoo in almost the same place on my arm as my first one, yeah, oh, love it. This $1 Swedish candle holder is the prettiest, most favorite thing I've ever thrifted. It's gorgeous, and you should feel proud. Before and after light switch cover that I thrifted for $1.50. A light switch cover. Okay, not looking too bad. Wow, I had no idea that was its natural color. That's incredibly impressive. Vintage decanter and glasses for three bucks. Those are sick as hell. I see so many things on this subreddit that I adore and I would totally buy. Do I need them? No chance in hell. Do I want them? You can bet money. I don't know what possessed me, probably the portrait, but I had to buy her for $3.99. An original but old, no signature, and a friend's response was, everyone knows a woman who looks just like that. I, I guess? Thrifted this for only a dollar. Yes, the castle does have it. <gasps> it's the uh. castle. Let's zoom in. You guys aren't allowed to see, but I'm looking right now. Hey, it does have it, man. Now see if you can find an original V. VHS copy of The Rescuers, where there's straight up a woman's teeth uh. out in the window while they're going by in a scene where they're taking off, or landing, or they're flying through the city, you know? Yes, that's real. Those Disney animators, man. When you work on f strict family-only content, it's unfortunate that this is how they had to get out some of their silly stupidity. By releasing this. Come on. You couldn't just do it behind the scenes? Oh, get out of here. These ridiculously adorable dinosaur mugs for $3.99 each. I don't need more mugs, but I couldn't not bring these home. I'm gonna disagree with you on these. I like them. I think they're cute, but they're, they look incredibly uncomfortable to use. You're never going to use them. You might try once or twice and then forget about them. 
So, I don't know, dude. Thrifted an antique lampshade from India for my also thrifted lamp. That lamp is sick as hell. Don't rub it, though. I'm just kidding. I know it's not that type of lamp. I'm not actually dumb. Frog kettle! Frog kettle! Okay. This one makes me mad, because you have it, and I don't. Now I'm just genuinely upset that you have the frog kettle, and here I am, sitting at my desk with a boring, regular silver kettle. Yeah, that's right, I keep my kettle at my desk. It's right there in front of me. I'm looking at it right now. It's on top of my notes, okay? But no, you had to be the one to get it, whoever you are. A family of vintage FP little people? Oh, Fisher Price? Oh, <gasps> yes. They are, my goodness, look at these goobers. I don't know if you guys have watched Ruby Gilman, uh, Teenage Kraken, whatever the hell, but a lot of the characters kind of look like these guys. Not all of them, a good few of them. Wife actually approved of my art find this weekend at a loco, a loco? Wow, local eco. Can't be combining words here. Local eco thrift. Ooh, hold on. Creole Cottage, New Orleans. Oh, dude, I would have bought this so freaking fast. I've always been obsessed with New Orleans and Creole and Cajun and all that stuff. I freaking love it. Just got back from watching Haunted Mansion. Love it even more. I would have killed for this painting. That's so cool. Five bucks? You live with me now. I'm really glad that the spooky months are on their way. Is this thing? Fits in rather well, wouldn't you say? Oh, it's perfect. There he is, creeping everyone out. Or protecting everyone. Got it for seven bucks. Find out it's worth over 2,000. Okay, how do you look up what something like this is worth? What is this called? It, was this a product line you could Google or check eBay about? How did you figure out it's worth two grand? I'm really curious. Oh, here we go. I had one just like it. It was mass produced. Oh, no, no. It's a $2,000 chicken. So who's right? Is it worthless or worth $2,000? Or sorry, not worthless. Is it worth what you paid or worth $2,000? The internet sits with anticipation. Come on, you know we do.